Hello, welcome. It is one-off time. Once again, we're playing Double Dare. You can tell by the sigh that I'm super fucking looking forward to it. Well, you can see, uh, you can see Mark Summers there. You can tell by the, by the face that is his, um, that you can distinguish, uh, based on the graphics. You can see that, um, that sweet ass on the fucking girl on the right. She's a fucking cutie, ain't she? Alright, let's, uh... What the hell game would they be playing? Like, what what physical challenge is this? Reach up and touch the flag, and there is no obstacle or anything. Just reach up and grab it while Mark Summers uh, stands on one foot? I don't fucking know. Anyway, let's just press fucking start. Let's get this shit over with. Uh, number of players, one. Skill level. I'm tempted to just do easy, just to guarantee... Well, I mean... I say guarantee, but you never fucking know. I mean, this shit's from the uh, 80s, so my 80s knowledge is probably not good. So if they're saying, like, what did the president do in the 80s? I'm mean, like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, but then again, it's like, I don't want to be a puss either and be like, oh, I'm fucking easy. Like, I'm playing easy because I'm a fucking weak sauce. Um, I don't know. I do... <laughs> Damn it! I <laughs> Guys, I didn't plan for this. I didn't. Uh, um, I don't know which one to do. I'll just fucking do easy. Fuck it. Enter team name. Um, oh, it's not even my name. It's a team name. Shit. Um. Oh, team name. Fuck. Well, I'm sitting here saying fuck all the time. Let's we're we're gonna be the fuckers. There we go. <laughs> little uh, little insight on the kind of person I am. In case you didn't already fucking know, boy. Um, cheap purse. Let's be the cute blonde girl, I guess. I don't fucking know. And the crawlers. What the hell kind of stupid day? I mean, I can't fucking talk. I, I, my my team name is the fuckers. Okay, I, I did play this a little bit. I played this toss-up challenge, uh, and it was the, it just happened to be the same level. I used to be pretty good at most of these games. Um, most of, I mean, this and also the physical challenges. I, I did play this a lot as a kid. Um, there's a couple of obstacles at the very end at the obstacle course that I wasn't good at because they're fucking impossible. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, But this one I used to be good at, but I sucked balls on it, and the computer got it, like, right away. Okay, so basically, you just press left and right, kind of like um, California games. Oops, or you push and then hit the button for the other. Okay. So basically, you just gotta hit the hand, but you can only hit it while the hand is facing you. Oh, that was close. Oh fuck, I forgot to hit the button. I was I, I'm used to I was hitting the California games one. Where you just hit it, um... God damn it. How do I get it- how do I get it lower? Okay, so more- so more speed doesn't mean it goes faster. It, I think more speed means that it goes higher. I think. I don't fucking know. Oh, man. Who wears a miter on his head? Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm, we're, on, we're on question one. I'm already glad that I uh, chose easy. <laughs> oh, the Pope. Well, seeing as how I'm such a good fucking Christian, I feel like I should have known that. <laughs> there was no dare, no, no money. Oh, wait, you? Why did you win ten dollars? Land animal has the largest heart. Uh, elephant. Probably just because it's fucking huge. Wow. A giraffe has a bigger heart than an elephant. I mean, it needs the big heart to pump the blood up the giant fucking neck, but I just thought it was, um... I just assumed it meant it was a stronger heart, not necessarily larger in size. Considering an elephant had is like, you know... Uh, it's like, what, a thousand pounds more than a giraffe? How much does a giraffe weigh? I actually don't know. I just figured it had, it's so much, it's so fucking huge, it needed all that blood for, like, the muscular, you know, to fuel all the muscles and shit. Anyway, I don't know, I thought that was a good guess, actually, but oh fucking well. Is this me now? Nope. It's Optical Illusion called what? 
Well, well, technically, an oasis is a common mirage. So, I mean... So, I don't know what this would be. I'll just say a mirage. I don't know. Illusion called, well, I mean, it's an optical illusion called a mirage, right? All right, sweet. Boy, that kid on the left, man, he's <laughs> he's creeping me out with your lip tooth. <laughs> um, Hawaii, correct? Those are the names of the um, islands, all right? I didn't know that definitively, but um, they all were... Um, they were all Hawaiian-sounding names. Jack just started in Burglar, Jumpin' Jack, Flash, and the color purple. So yeah, see, this is the kind of uh, question. Uh, this is a movie from the 80s, I'm assuming. Um, I don't know. How about we dare? I mean, that's what it's there for, right? When you don't know the fucking answer, right? I didn't think that was kind of lame when they, um, they made Family Double Dare at one point. And I don't know if y'all ever watched that. I mean, it was kind of cool because then they could have, like, more complex physical challenges and shit because uh, they had... Sometimes they would incorporate uh, uh, more people. Well, it looks like we're doing a physical challenge. Um, but then the problem was is that the dad usually knew the answers. So then the dad would always just whisper the answer to someone and then the other person would say the answer. So it kind of turned into who has the smartest dad basically got the most questions right. Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, maybe it's just to get a get, good a guess as any. I don't know. Okay, Kate Catch. I don't. Man, I kind of wish I could practice before you fucking do it. You have 20 seconds to grab just one cake. Partner is going to launch cakes into the air. You must catch one cake before by bouncing up and down on the trampoline. Okay. This doesn't seem hard, but a lot of these physical challenges, like, you just have to play them over and over again to fucking figure them out, so... Alright. So, like, what button do I even push? That looked like I caught it, but I guess not. There we go. Actually, it wasn't too hard. You did have to kind of, like, try to anticipate, even though, uh, because there's, like, a delay and you don't know when he's gonna launch them, but it's like, you can't when you're not have when you're not like with another person who's gonna like tell you when they're gonna launch it, then you don't fucking know. So you're kind of you're trying to anticipate something that you have no idea when you're gonna need to anticipate it. What's the location of the first permanent settlement uh, in North America? Um, I mean, Jamestown. Yay. I was thinking, like, they landed on Plymouth Rock, but that wasn't the name of the establishment, I think. The term for one character in a computer sounds like something you do with your teeth. What is it? Uh, well, you don't really... Okay, I'm pretty sure it's bite. <laughs> a character in a computer... I mean, that wasn't really worded very well, I don't think, unless that means something else. I am computer illiterate, so maybe, that, maybe it did technically mean the right thing. I just didn't knew, uh, know about it. Vegetable eating when you eat grits. Well, I am white, not black, so I don't know about grits. Um, potatoes. It is not potatoes. I do have black friend, currently. <laughs> I mean, I've heard, I've heard about grits, and I've watched black comedians where they talk about grits, so, but they never say what's in it, they just assume, I mean, the whole audience is usually black, so everybody usually knows what they're talking about when they say it, so, I mean, I don't fucking know. What's a Manx? Max? It has three legs? It's probably, <laughs> it's probably not that one. I'm pretty sure every cat has a tail, right? Because every cat has the writing reflex where it, like, uses, I mean, no, that that's, that's how it just spins its body around. I'm pretty sure it's I have seen... That's not that one either. Okay, well then it has to be that it has no tail, I guess. Alright. I did not know that. Yeah, cats ha have the riding reflex, but then they just spin their uh, body around. I guess it doesn't technically have anything to do with the tail. Uh, the tail is just for balance, so do, do, so do those cats have no balance because they don't have any fucking tail? That's kind of weird. Halftime. We gonna get to see a titty? 
a sexy 8-bit titty. There's actually uh, a couple of 8-bit, like, NES games where you get to see, um, like, I guess titties, like, 8-bit titties. Pretty sure they are, like, the least <laughs> sexually appealing things you could possibly imagine. But you know that someone somewhere fucking jacked off to them. I remember the, uh, the Game Grumps. Uh, they're playing Mario Sunshine. And, uh, and Aaron, you know, they're just starting another conversation. See, it's easy when you got another person to, like, help you start conversations. So, like, to help you, like, know what you're going to talk about. And Aaron just goes, um, he's like, so, uh, so, Dan, do you think anyone's ever masturbated to, uh... And then Danny just goes, yes. Yes to literally anything you were possibly going to say or some shit like that. <laughs> um, okay, we like to bowl on Double Dare. Oh, we do? Uh, but we lost all our bowling balls, so we'll have you'll have to use cantaloupes. Wow. The first team to knock over all three pins wins control of the questions. Well, it's not really bowling if there's only three pins, and it's not really bowling if it's cantaloupes. You can't just replace bowling balls with cantaloupes. I mean, it's not... <laughs> It's a fucking bowling ball. They just decided to call it a cantaloupe to be to try to be like silly and be like, oh, it's a, it's not the usual thing because it's a game. It's a, it's trying to be funny, but it's like, come on, man, you ain't fooling anybody. All right. Oh shit. Okay. So you want about that much angle to a little bit more. Uh, there we go. And so for this one, we want that much. Okay. Piece of cake. We're actually able to deduce. We had enough chance, and it was easy enough to tell what was doing what. The speed was actually the speed, so, you know, crazy, huh? Maybe the speed was the speed on the a gorilla one, and I just, I don't know. It's bicentennial. How old was it? Bicentennial? It's 200, right? It is kind of weird how, um, how the, the finger pointer actually has, like, kind of a lot of detail, just because it's, like, it's large, I guess. I don't know. Uh, who was the first... Oh, wow. Who was the first head of the post office? Um, I mean, should I dare? I don't know. Let's dare. We haven't been daring a lot. We haven't done that many physical challenges yet. And unless Team Crawler fucking knows something, which, I don't know, they might be smart. I mean, with a team name like Crawler, it's like, I mean, come on. Would expect nothing less. Okay, looks like we're doing physical challenge. Wow, worth 80 bucks. If I lose and they get it, then I'll actually put it close. Alright. I mean, I maybe could have guessed... I was going to guess Alexander Hamilton just because it made the most sense, I guess. Nope, it, I would have been wrong. Ben Franklin, first head of the post office. Wow. I learned a fact that I will forget by the end of this episode. Have you ever wanted to fly? Well, here's your chance. That's not how flying works. You don't just fly when you hit a trampoline. Uh, that's, that's, uh, you're making, you know, you're deluding people to saying that, like, bouncing on a trampoline is kind of like flying, you know? Um, anyway, here is my chance to fly, but not really. I must launch your partner through the air and have them land on the trampoline. Have hit... I have to launch them through the air and have them land on the trampoline. Well, hopefully they fucking hit the trampoline. Otherwise, you just got launched in the air and fucking crashed and fucking broke their neck. Um, then he can bounce up and try to grab the flag. You have 30 seconds to grab the flag. I feel like a visual aid would be, like, really helpful for this. For me to, like, know what's going on before the timer starts, you know? Boy, I don't... I don't remember this one at all. So am I the... Am I the jumper or am I the launcher? Wow, he landed right on his ass. So do I want... Okay, so the angle was bad. So do I want more angle or less angle? Probably less since that was kind of a lot of angle. Okay, so a little bit more angle. So about like there. Oh damn. So... Come on, man. That one was kind of... Yeah, I don't remember that one at all, actually. Wow, yep. Give them all that money for that fucking bullshit. Yeah, they totally earned it. <sighs> you soaked a slice of bread in eggs and milk. Okay. Hopefully that's French toast.
I guess it is kind of weird how... Actually, I don't think I've eaten French toast in a long time. I went on a yoga retreat and um, last year, March, so almost a year ago, and uh, had it. But other than that, I, it had been probably years since I had it prior to that. Man, the girl's fucking chin is flexing. That's like it's almost as creepy as the fucking dude with the with the lip tooth. Uh, which heavyweight champion retired undefeated? Um, I don't know. I've never even heard of any of those people. I mean, Alibaba, maybe. I mean, I thought he was. I thought that was the guy from the song in Aladdin. <laughs> uh. When they're like, Prince Ali, uh, something is he, Ali Ababa, or Ali, I don't know. Maybe it's a play on words from that, or I don't fucking know. Prince Ali, mighty is he, something was he, I don't fucking know. Been a long time since I've seen that movie. Uh, so I guess we're doing physical challenge. By the way, I have this, I have like a, the hots for Jasmine <laughs> in that movie. That's a really sexy outfit. I think like the tone of her skin, plus like the like, the shade of green that her outfit is. Plus, I think that outfit is, like, super sexy, where, like, the strap doesn't go, like, above the uh, trapezius area. It goes around, like, the the bicep area. Like, it's, like, the, the strap is, like, down on the shoulder area. Kind of makes it uh, tantalizing. Like, you feel like it'd be easier to just, like, yank it down, uh, exposing her sexy breasts. Anyway, putty golf. Wow, is that what it's called? This is your chance to play Double Dare Putty Golf. Wow, I can't fucking wait. All I have to do is put one egg into the hole to win. Since the pin is in a difficult spot, your partner will use the bellows to help blow the egg into the hole. Watch out for splatters. Splatters. Um, okay. You have 20 seconds to sink one egg. Okay, this one I do remember. So we want speed and how much... Oops, I forgot to hit the... The... Oh, now I gotta do the... Oh, shit. Okay, so it's left and then a button. It's not left and right. So I'm actually doing both of these. Wow. So you get basic... <sighs> Son of a bitch. You basically get, like, four chances. Four chances to fucking figure it out and do it correctly. Okay. Dinosaur has two long horns on his forehead and a third short horn above its nose. Gonna dare me? Alright. I'll go ahead and... I'm assuming it's Triceratops. I'm assuming they're not gonna give you a trick question. And now it's gonna run into... Now I'm gonna... Now I'm gonna be hoping that the game ends when I'm in the lead. And I'm gonna be hoping for one more question when, they, when I'm not in the lead. Uh, what was the name of Knight Rider's car? Um, was it Kit? I mean, Knight Rider. I mean, come on, Knight Rider can't have a car named Herbie, man. That's such a puss name. So, okay, that was just a guess. I mean, it was like it has to be something. It's not Herbie. That's the Herbie like fully loaded fucking car or whatever. First ten amendments to the Constitution are known by which name? Uh, Bill of Rights, correct, I hope. Alright. So, I mean, I haven't had any, I haven't answered any, like, difficult questions that I feel, like, proud for knowing the answer of, but... Son of a bitch. I'm <laughs> Bishop Desmond Tutu's efforts for peace in his troubled country. Uh, earning the Nobel Peace Prize, which country is that? Um, Desmond Tutus? Lebanon? I don't fucking know. Well, I was thinking, um, I was gonna guess South Africa, but I was like, it doesn't seem like it's very troubled, so I figured maybe a place in the Middle East would be a better answer. Alright, at least I didn't get the money. Alright. Alright. Uh, two sons of Princess uh, Diana and Prince Charles. Um, I mean, is it? It's Henry and William, right? 
there's a chance that it's not, but that those are the two names, the two royalty names that I'm familiar with, so it has the highest chance of being correct, I guess. No. Oh. Because I know they have kids now, but it's like, did Princess Diana, like, die that long ago? Like, are they really that old that, that those kid, those people are grown and having their own kids now already? Damn. Which of these bird names can be found in the game of Clue? Um, probably Miss Peacock, because the other ones don't make sense. All right, cool. So I'm ahead enough to where even if they win a physical challenge or if I lose a physical challenge, we win. Okay, and I won. Sweet. That's the end of the game. Well, it's not the end of the game because the, we're, we still have to play the obstacle course. Woohoo. Ready to watch me fuck this up? The one that I'm worried about, monkey bars, there's one where you have to climb a hill. It looks like a hill. It looks like you're climbing up a slushy. That's the one I'm worried about. Okay, that one's easy. That's the one right there. That's the one that's a fucking bitch. And uh, there's another one that's also kind of hard. It was the... I'm pretty sure you have to mash left and right to run. So basically, all I'm doing is mashing left and right. Oh shit, okay. Then you have to press left, right, and then... Okay, then I have to mash left and right again. Okay. There we go. And then you gotta... Chicka -chicka. Ugh. Sometimes you have to... This one's kinda hard, too, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is up, down. Mashing. Okay. Come on! Okay, so that was a hard one, and I got the fucking controls figured out. Like, right there, I'm pushing right, but now to go- now to do this running, I have to push left and right. Alright. Oh my gosh, my shits are getting tired. Come on! Oh my gosh. It's like button mashing with, like, both thumbs, and, um, I'm not- I'm not gonna fucking make it. Now that I'm all fucking tired, now I have to do- Oh my gosh. Uh. And then not only this one, if you sli if you stop pressing it fast enough, you actually slip down, even though it didn't- I didn't think I was slipping down that much. And then sometimes if you slip, you'll just slip all the fucking way back down. But yeah, if you- if you get that one early on, you can do it. Uh, but I was already fucking tired from doing all the other ones. You can't, it's like, you can't just button mash, like, with your index finger. I can button mash pretty quickly, but, um, you have to, like, leverage the controller down properly. Like, I can button mash one person, but you can't alternate button mashings very well. And then, plus, it was all, hey, there's a guy named Chris Stamper? Um, but anyway, yeah, once you do the obstacle, then you have to press left or right to line your character up and then push the button to jump. With all the stampers. Got the whole stamper family directing this fucker, fucking thing. Oh, I didn't know that rare made it. Uh, but yeah, so you're mashing left and right to do the obstacle, and then once you're done, then you have to just press left or right to, like, position your character, and then jump, and then once you jump, you have to start mashing left and right again. Oh, and also MTV Networks? Yeah, I forgot about that. But anyway, that's, that's, uh, Double Dare. Uh, that fucking, that fucking slushy, um, mound... That one's been fucking me up since I was a kid, and then if you get it at the end, there's no fucking way you can do it, um, because you're too fucking tired, and I was too fucking tired to fucking, uh, do it. But anyway, thanks for joining me on this one-off, and we will catch you in the next one, and we'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye-bye.